Hi everyone, and welcome to our video for the new booking calendar widget from Boken. What we're gonna do today is start by looking at this widget from the customer's point of view on one of our client's websites. And then I'll come into the Boken platform and we'll show you how to create this widget in Boken. So to get started, I'm gonna click over to the client site. This is one of their tour pages here. And if I scroll down, we can take a look at the new booking calendar widget here. So I'll start by choosing the number of travelers for the tour. And then I will pick a day that I want to go on the tour. You'll notice there are two start times that I can pick from here. So I'll choose the start time that I want. And then the add to cart button becomes clickable. Once I click add to cart, you'll notice that a message pops up telling me that I've added the tour to the cart. And also this little shopping cart icon pops up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So this is very handy because now I can go ahead and navigate to other pages on this website, possibly add additional tours to my cart and this shopping cart icon will follow me wherever I go. If I click on it, I can see what's in the cart, I can remove items from the cart, uh, and I can proceed directly to the checkout at any point. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to the checkout page. Here we have the contact information page. So I'm just gonna fill this out with some test information. You can customize this at the product level and choose to take whatever information you'd like to from your customers at the time of the booking. Once I've filled that out, I'll click continue. And this brings me to the payment page. I would just enter in my card information and purchase the tour here. It's really that simple. Uh, the last feature I'll point out is this back arrow that allows me to navigate to any part of the checkout process, which is really handy in case I need to go back and correct any information or update anything. So now that we've taken a look at what this uh, looks like from the customer's point of view, let's go into Boken and show you how to generate the necessary code to upload this widget to your website. So starting from the getting started page in Boken, I'm going to select online sales tools. And this is where all of our new widgets are. So you'll notice that the main menu screen has a step-by-step uh, -step breakdown of how the new widgets work. And on the left-hand side, it will tell you all of the different new widgets we have. So today we're looking at the booking calendar. I'm gonna click Create Widget. And there's just a couple of options I need to fill out. The supplier is your company. And then the experience is the specific tour or product that we're creating a widget for. You also notice here on the right, we have a live preview. So you can see what this will look like on a laptop or computer, on a mobile device, or on a tablet. In order to get the code, I'm just gonna click Generate Embed Code. And this brings me an HTML code that we copy and paste into the back end of our website. Now we do have guides on how to do this for specific platforms such as WordPress, Squarespace, Wix and so on. Um, I highly encourage you to check out our help desk for step-by-step -step guides on how to upload these codes. But essentially I would simply click copy embed code and then follow the instructions on the help desk and paste the code into the back end of my website. So there are also a couple of customization options for the booking calendar widget. If I wanna reach those, I'm going to click on edit widget configuration. And the main customization option is what you want to happen after a customer has added a tour to their cart. So you can choose to go directly to the checkout or you can choose to display a message. Uh, in the example that we looked at today, it chose to display the message so that the customer could continue to click around the website and possibly add more tours. If you'd prefer to just directly send the customer to the checkout, you would want to send uh, select go to cart here. Um, a couple of other options down here, um, the default category automatically being selected. That's something that you can toggle. Uh, you can choose to show sold out dates or hide sold out dates. 
you can choose to show a banner, uh, which is an image at the top of the calendar here. And you'll notice that as I click any of these, it also shows in the live preview, uh, which is really nice so you can see what it's gonna look like. Uh, the last option is to show a warning when there's only a few slots left for a tour. And you can actually set the warning threshold so you can say how many slots left uh, there need to be for the warning to appear. So that's essentially it. Um, thank you folks for checking out this video. I hope this was helpful. As I mentioned, please take a look at our help desk articles for more information. And thank you so much for choosing Boking.